Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. My name is Karina. What's your name? My name is Guilherme. Nice to meet you. Guilherme. Guilherme. Yes. Yeah. And nice to meet you too. And you're level two. Yes. Okay. So can I see your identification? Yes, please. Thank you. That's one. Thank you very much. Thank so you. how are you today? I'm okay. Very good weather. Yes, very I good. know. It's lovely. <laughs> okay. So we'll start with a presentation that you've prepared. Okay. Um, and then we'll have a discussion about it. Um, have you got any notes for me? Notes? Well, I just... Or any material for me? It's a uh, notes oh, for yes, you. thank you very much. Okay. okay. And, and this is your Yeah, that's material. my okay. material. Right, so I'll be making notes um, during the presentation. So don't worry if you see me writing. Okay, okay? no problem. And after four minutes, I'll stop you. And we'll have a discussion. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Right. So... Start. Okay, so the reason why I came today is just to tell you why you should go on a cruise. Mm. Well, I've worked on a cruise before and I can tell you that I've been more than 27 different countries all around the world. And the reason why you should go on a cruise mm. is because cruising, sailing, it's wonderful. Mm. Well, imagine if you are going to Tokyo in Japan and if you are flying from London, it normally it takes like around 10 to 12 hours flying mm. but probably most people are likely to get jet lag also there is a time difference between london and japan it could be more than eight hours ahead mm. and it's so it could be faster but in some ways it could be like very tired to you and then you should if, if you are going to something like for a business trip and then you need to come back it sometimes makes very tired for you. But if you are going a cruise ship, you can go like through all around from England, mm. you can go through the Mediterranean Sea. Mm -hmm. Also, you could take opportunity to visit the Egypt, also the Israel. Then you go in sailing through the Canal of Suez. Mm. After that, one night you should be arriving in Dubai. Normally, when when you go to Dubai and own a cruise ship, they stay like the ship stayed around two nights. Mm. So you could go all the way there. You could take advantage also to get to know the desert. Well, it's wonderful. <laughs> After that, normally the itinerary is going towards India, Maldives and Sri Lanka. Mm. And I can tell you I've been there and it's so wonderful. I've been as a passenger too, so after Sri Lanka we sailed to, towards Malaysia, mm. we did Thai, the Thai coast, Vietnam, mm. after we'd been to China, and after one night we arrived in Japan, in Tokyo. It lasts around 15 to 20 days, mm. it's more than flying, mm. but you can take advantage to, to get to know the cruise, your cabin, normally around five meters square, much more than a first club cabin class. Mm -hmm. And also you have the restaurant. If you're cruising in a uh, Italian cruise ship, mm. you would have your dining room and in the dining room you will have you will have the whole meal, whole Italian meal. As the Italian culinary is one of the best of the world that I really like and I'm really addicted to food. <laughs> so, but don't mind because we also have the buffet restaurant if mm. you like something, some snack. But if you think that you are going to eat a lot, don't worry, we have gin as well. Mm. It's open 24 hours mm -hmm. with all the facilities that you like to. Mm -hmm. And in the night, you could also go to the theater mm. and there are lots of attractions. Mm -hmm. The people there, the staffs in the cruise, mm -hmm. they made a very tailor-made cruise for you as you want, as you are expecting it. Mm. So you could see a Broadway, something like ma many shows, singers, mm. and also you could see many things. A lot of, all the all around the world is um, inside the cruise. Right, interesting. <laughs> I'm going to stop you there because okay, we need no to have problem. a little discussion about <laughs> it. It's very interesting you should say this because my partner's always wanted to be on a cruise, oh. but I've never been persuaded up till now. <laughs> okay. I have a, a bit of a problem with the idea uh, of going on a do you think that you have, like you have a fear of sailing? Mm, I think that I don't think I'm scared of, of ships. 
that side? It's just being with so many people the whole time. Well, I don't think that is a problem because as five meters square of a cup and you can relax and you can have you could have your own time. And it's very funny that you get to know people from all the long, all around the world. Oh, and yeah. sometimes you could not get tough about them because it's called, it's very different. Mm. Many different cultures. It sounds very busy though, very tiring way to travel. I think I might prefer to just go, you know just go with straight my, with with a partner or you know, just well, have if a you do much prefer quieter to go, journey. <laughs> Yeah, it depends where you like. So if you like to know many other many places mm. in a week, you could mm -hmm. because there are some in itineraries which can last for seven weeks, seven days, sorry. Mm -hmm. And you could have each country, like each day you are disembarking mm -hmm. in a different mm -hmm. country. It sometimes it could be tired, mm -hmm. tiring, mm -hmm. but I don't think it is mm -hmm. because you would relax because cruise. you have to go on the on the um, excursions of every of day. Of course, actually, if you like to, mm. but if you want to be on the board, uh, on board, mm. and then taking an advantage, because it's not only theatre, gym, mm. it's not only, it's everything. Mm. It's a five star hotel mm. on the sea. But you can't get off, can you? Of course. <laughs> oh, not on the sea, not in the middle of the ocean. No. But there's no excuses yet for in the middle of the ocean. Mm -hmm. I also worry about the weather, you know, if it would turn right Well, it, it could be some storms, mm. but a ship like that, mm. this size, mm. there are some ships which they, they are like, the capacity of the ships is mm. for around 4,000 passengers. Oh. And it's so amazing that it's a world Float, floating, it's, a, it's literally a five-star hotel. Mm. So I don't think that you have time to think about tiredness. Mm. You don't, I, I don't think, I'm sure that you don't have time to think about anything. Mm. You just, as soon as you embark, mm. you're going to leave all your things behind. Right. Okay. And you will forget everything, 100% sure. About and it's a more that. relaxing way to travel. Of course. I like the idea of the time difference. Not being, you know, not yeah. arriving in a country yeah. of different. Of course, time. each day you are going to be like one hour ahead, mm. and then you're going to get used to it. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank I may you. just take you up on that. <laughs> thank you. So now we're going to move on to the next task. Um, I'm going to explain to you how to do something, and when I've finished, I'll ask you a question to see if you manage to um, understand what I've said. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, this is um, about how to make quick bread. Okay. Because I used to make bread, and my mother used to make bread. But it always took such a long time. But this is a really quick way to do it, and it's delicious. Okay. So, now, this is what you do. First, you assemble all the ingredients. And you will need four dry ingredients and four wet ingredients. Okay. It's really simple. Okay. You'll need um, 250 grams of flour, any rye, spelt, wheat, whatever you like, um, a little bit of salt and a handful of seeds, so sunflower, pumpkin, poppy seeds, whatever you okay. like to taste. Um, and you'll need this magic ingredient which is bicarbonate of soda. Can you say again? Bicarbonate of soda. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the magic ingredient. Um, and just a teaspoon of that. Okay. So you mix those together. Then the other the wet ingredients are mixed together. And these are 100 ml of yogurt, the same amount of milk, and a two tablespoon of oil, and some honey. Okay. okay. So honey is Just a little. So you mix everything together. And then the dough is placed on an oiled baking tray and the loaf is baked for 20 to 25 minutes at approximately 250 degrees. And that's it. Very good. Mm. And it's the fastest bread I've ever made. Yeah, that's very quick. <laughs> so, do you remember what the magic ingredient was? Bicarbonate of soda. Mm. Have you ever used it? Yes, I did. Yeah. But I'm not very used to it mm. because I don't know how much I don't know much of cooking uh -huh. bread. So what have you used it for? Well, I use it for doing a, a cake as well. Mm. Yeah, something mm. like that. Mm. Yeah. So I think that I mixed up a 
and then I did it in the wrong way. I right. was not sure about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I recommend it. Okay, it's a magic ingredient. Mm, magic I'll take it. <laughs> Do you think you remember it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Now we're going to do the next task. We're going to do the role play. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Um, so this is the situation. Uh, you work in a coffee shop uh, and you're not happy with your working conditions. I'm your manager. Okay. So, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I've been trying to speak to you since last week, but I, I couldn't really find you. I've been away. I've been really busy. Really yeah, busy. no problems at all. Well, I just would like to express my condition of work, which has not been very good. Oh, really? I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Uh, since from the last two weeks, I've been leaving the job very late, around one hour later than mm. I used to, because, you know, as it's written in my contract, I should be working only seven hours and a half. And also, I'm not taking my breaks, like, exactly the, the times of breaks, I should have 30 minutes of break. And well, you I'm should taking be taking your break. Why yeah, but they don't allow me to, because it's, it's been very busy, and they always say that there are very, like, less personnel, and then I need to work for it. Well, we all need to work very hard, you know. Yes, I know. We're all, you know, it's, we, we, we have so much more demand at the moment, so, you know, I'm sorry, but... That's the way it is. Yeah, but you know that I've been here for more than two years and I've been working so hard I had never missed any any day of job yeah, that's true. unless I was sick. Mm. But you know whenever that's I'm a very sick. Good word, yeah. Michael. Oh thank you very mm. much. But I just would like you to understand me because mm. whenever you, you I was asked to work or more like to do some times that like all the time like to do things more like as you are me. I was so pleased to do that. Mm, so. You've always been very willing, yes. so I thought you enjoyed the work. Yes, of course, no problem, because I enjoy money as well. Mm. But sometimes I get very tired because I have my university and it's been very hard because you know the traffic, how it's going. So if I leave one hour later, mm. then I am supposed to be arriving very late on my class. Mm. And you know the attendance in mm. the university, mm. they are very strict to it. Well, I thought you weren't supposed to work very many hours if you were studying at university. Well, I need to mm. because the world today, like life mm. in the UK, it's been very hard. Well, what do you think could be done about this situation? Well, just to have my break at the certain times, like mm. uh, every every day at midday, mm. I should take my break, like half an hour, and at five o'clock I should be leaving. And please, just ask the supervisor to not ask me like extra jobs mm. quarter to five because right. it's impossible to okay. finish and do you need to leave every day at the same time can you be a bit flexible sometimes yeah sometimes of course mm. but i need to be like advising okay. in advance like, you, you just need to tell me in advance mm. like two days before tomorrow because i'm willing to work every time you mm. tell me to okay well maybe you could just give me an idea of the days that are really important okay you when because you, leave early. you know sometimes it's been very 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 busy mm. and for one hour I don't want to make the people feel that I'm very stressed mm. so you think you know what I'm like yep. my point you I, understand. My point. I understand so I just need to to be like very relaxed to the work and okay. if we are working all the time mm. that's not very good all right well I'll put it to the supervisor and we'll see how that goes and if thank there are any more problems much. don't hesitate to get back thank to you me. for your attention okay. thank you very much indeed okay so that's the end of this part of the class um, if you'd like to wait with the other students until okay. I call you for the group discussion. Okay, okay. no problem. Thank you very, Thank much, you very much for your attention.